Hello, welcome to new Scene Anatomy video. Recently I received a test unit of the new MicMe microphone. The MicMe is a wireless microphone and an audio recorder and is super portable and can be used with iOS. It was a Kickstarter campaign and now it's available for purchase. And this one is now a test unit, so it goes back to the company. So for me it's interesting to see if it can uh, replace my uh, Lavalier microphones, which I use now in my blogger um, daily work, also on the trade shows. So I will probably use this microphone also during the super booth in some of the videos. So let's unbox it. You see here MicMe microphone, wireless uh, microphone and audio recorder. MicMe is in a company from Austria, here from Vienna. There are some um, meters from my home here, so it's very practical. Then you have here made for iPod, iPhone, iPad. There is an uh, app um, on the App Store available. And you can see tap captures share. So this is the main idea of this um, microphone, that you record your audio directly and then share it uh, in your social media like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Then you see here the different um, functionalities which I will demonstrate later. So this one is now the black gold version with 16 gigabyte. As I said it's wireless microphone and audio recorder and one inch gold plated true condenser capsule. So this microphone is a uh, condenser capsule microphone and it's super smart for condenser microphone then you have here 16 gigabyte internal of uh, gigabyte of memory, so it doesn't feature an, an SD card, the micro SD card, but the, the gigabytes are here internally, so you can replace them. And you have here the 18 to 22,000 hertz and 24 bit uh, 196 kilohertz studio grade quality, so you get a, a nice quality of it. Then you have your secure wireless audio streaming, so you can stream the audio directly to your iPhone, iPad or iPod, what is very practical, even for people who only use their phones for blogging or so. So let's open it. It's in a nice black box here. So open it here, they said. And as you can see, they printed here what is nice, the manual already in the box. And so here is the, the microphone. I put it here, it's quite heavy. Then you feel some stickers. Sounds like you mic me, uh, rec queen, or recording queen, do it with passion, love, life is too short for bad. Let's put it out here. Let's put this here. And let's open also this box here. And as you can see here, you have a micro, uh, micro USB cable. And what is important to know here, since the, uh, there's now a new firmware out, so you can use now the microphone also as standard uh, USB microphone on your PC or Mac. But it doesn't work currently as a USB microphone on iOS because it takes too much battery. And if you also an isolation thing for your cable, if you need this. Let's take this like this. And make this like this now. And here is the microphone. And from the first touching, it's solid. It's robust. It's, it's now, it doesn't feel like plastic or so. It's really aluminium and it's super solid. It's maybe a bit um, big, 
but for my work it could be improved because it's smart and if take the, um, the this quality of audio it could be quite a cool accessoire for my studio or my blogging activity and then you see here charge your uh, your mic me microphone for five five hours and then there are some video tutorials available on the net and what the developers say to me um, you can record up to three hours of um, audio with it and then if you record uh, put it again on a battery uh, power bank or so for one hour or two hours you can use it again for over one hour what is quite cool also for me uh, for on trade shows or so. Uh, then you have here first of all on the left side you have here tapped um, the power on and off. Then you have here the Bluetooth so you can pair it to your iPhone, iPad and iPhone, um, iPod but the Android version comes later so there is an app in development for also for Android. Then you have here um, for the USB, it's for charging and for importing your stuff on your computer or on your mobile device. Then you have here also a line out. So this could be useful for using also on other cameras. And you have here the gain, a minus and plus. So you can change the gain also directly on the microphone. And all these parameters are also directly available in their in the MicMe app, which contains also a camera app. So you can sync directly the audio from the mic me to your um, camera pictures or videos directly so you have everything in sync and in good quality and here you have also a support for a tripod or a tripod and you can see here it's designed in austria so here in vienna or i think in linz um, and then here you see also made in germany so it's not an, a product made in China. So this is then also normal. The price is uh, 399 euro, what is quite a lot for such a uh, music gadget or audio gadget. But I would say it's a high quality microphone made in uh, Germany and not in China. Maybe they will drop the price later when they build um, the stuff no longer in Germany but in another country so you can maybe drop the price a bit. I think we can um, make a little test of it. So let's start it here. So it's now on and I will record now something for you. This is a test of the mic me 1212. You can maybe say it uh, right in the comments below how you do you find the quality of the mic me? Do you love it? Is it improved compared to my lavaliers? It would be cool so to see how b uh, better the sound quality is. So you have now heard the uh, mic me and it would be cool to see how the sound is different to my actual lavaliers here on my uh, during my camera sessions and with this one. So it will be interesting to see if the mic me will uh, make my life better and more easy maybe my workflow for interviews, trade shows or so. So we will try also make, uh, now this week on Superbooth to make some interviews with the mic me, also some uh, presentations. And I have also here now my iPad so we can um, connect it quite simple here. We go here to the Bluetooth connection. We press on it, then the blue LED begins to uh, blinking. Then I go here to Bluetooth in my settings of the iPad. I turn it on and then my mic me is already connected. Then I go back here to the, go in the mic me app here and you can see on the main page here that you have some um, samples, uh, video samples here, but uh, what is more interesting, we want to record maybe something uh, own stuff. Um, you have here record button and you have here on the top also the settings. You see inputs the internal microphone from the iPad. You have here the mic me microphone, the settings, get a mic me, help and pair a new mic me. 
So maybe record something very quick here. So we go here to, to the record button and you can see here, you have here a video mode, an audio mode and a remote uh, mode. In a video mode, you can record an, um, a video directly and using the audio from the mic me. So let's try this. So record something. One, two, one, two. This is a test of the mic me. Is this test good or not? We will see it. Stop it. Make me uh, a photo of it. Then you go here on the app and you see here now that we have now a new clip, a video plus the audio from the mic me. We press on it. And you see here you have here the, um, the video layer and here the audio layer. So let's try this. One, two, one, two. This is a test of the mic me. Is this test good or not? We will see it. Then you can also uh, change the panorama, uh, so to the left or to the right, what is quite cool and practical for different cases. Then you have here also FX, so you can add in your um, in your different um, videos, different effects, what is also nice. So uh, audio effects. Um, then you have here the mixer and all of stuff. So you see it's a very cool and you have here also a second layer which is now uh, the iPad recording but we use here the mic me recording what is naturally the best quality. And you see here on the top also the battery it's of 81% at the moment and also the gigabyte available on the device. Actually, it's 14.5 uh, gigabyte. So, this was my first look at the mic me. It would be cool to hear from you if you are interested in such uh, music device or music gadget. Uh, if you need something like this, and uh, what do you think about it? It would be cool to hear your opinion in the comments just below. And in the next days, weeks, I will test now this mic me and I give you my final review on it, if I love it or not. So I will go now to Superwoof in the next days and I will test also to, uh, the mic me directly with the noise there uh, to see how good it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching. And don't forget to join the Patreon page for monthly new sound content, free plugins and much more. And to participate on exclusive uh, Patreon giveaways for iOS apps, plugins and much more. Big thanks for watching and hope to see you again very soon in all of our next videos. Bye!